Hey, how y'all doing? We're out again at the bees. We've had a couple cold days. It's April the 6th, and we're in north central Kentucky, and we're going to make a last of our splits today. The bees are going crazy again. We've got all of our equipment. I think I got enough nukes to put them in. I got to see around these glasses the way I keep looking down like that. But uh, making a last for splits. Anything that's over um, a deep, we're going to put, take everything off the top of it, leave one deep, and put one deep of uh, drawn comb on it. So last for splits. April the 6th, and we'll get to it, see what we got. All right, this first one, we've already uh, put a queen excluder on. We had brood in the honey super, so we wanted to brood out, so we let the brood hatch out. The queen is below the queen excluder, and uh, we'll make sure anything that's 80% full, we'll put another box on. So you're always walking a line um, of when to split and when to let them go. Um, we we're, we go by the date, uh, we go by how many bees they have. Uh, this one will be a little bit heavier for depending on how much is in here, uh, but that's a fine line you walk between um, making honey, making a lot of honey, and uh, getting splits. Every hive that I have, my goal is to get, my goal is to get three splits off of and to make uh, three supers of honey, which is about seven and a half gallon of honey, uh, which equates to a value of about, uh, the honey would be 700, it's a hundred dollars a gallon, so 750 bucks. And then the value of the nukes, or whatever you sell a nuke for nowadays, between 175 and 200 times three. So uh, I like, sh I try to shoot for between $850 and $1,000 per hive is what I'm looking for. We're keeping the nukes this year, but we still, it helps me to look at the value. I know it's not all about the money, uh, but it helps me to look at the value um, of what we're uh, getting, what we're using, and what we're losing if we don't do things right. So we're going to pull some splits off here today, put them in the easy nuke boxes, and um, some of them, this one we won't, we'll put, add a box to, and then we'll add some deep frames on the top, deep drawn comb on the top which I got ready this morning. So that's the plan. That's what we're looking at. Uh, we're not going to shake the queen below an excluder this time because I don't have time um, to do that. So we're going to look for the queen, try to look for her really good, make her nukes up. If we find a queen, then we'll try to go back and find which hive she come out of. I always want to leave the queen. I'll see different thoughts on this too, but you always want to leave the queen with the original hive. That's the production hive. That's the hive that's going to make uh, honey if they're going to make it. And they, if you take that queen out of there, uh, you, they're not going to make honey. Neither half will. So we're going to try to leave the queen in the original hive and uh, just look for her. So that's the plan, and we'll see what happens. Go is for them to hatch out the brood that they have up here and then fill it back up with honey, which they're doing. So this hive is 80% full already, which is what we go by to add another box. So we're going to go ahead and just add another box. That's some of the honey they're putting in there. And since we're, we've got a honey super on here already, and we're expecting this hive to make honey, hopefully it won't swarm. They, they're a little bit heavy, heavier than I'd like. Hopefully they'll go ahead and uh, fill that up and won't swarm. I'm going to go down here and get another uh, super. We'll put a, a super on them. Might put two on them. All right, we've got a full box of uh, drawn comb except for the center one. And we got some, uh, oh dang, my sheet's falling out. That ain't good. It's got hot down there with that... Uh, inside under that cellophane and this sheet just fell out. Let me see if I can go get another one. I'll go ahead and just put all drawn comb in here. That's the problem you have with that thin, I think they call it thin surplus foundation for comb honey, is it's really thin. If you don't get it in there good and tight, 
it gets uh, warm and soft really quick and that's what happened to that piece so we got several more hopefully they're not all like that the nukes we're not going to worry about too much we're just worried about trying to make sure they don't swarm and splitting this one we pinched a red queen we put a queen cell in so we're going to leave it be we put a queen cell in there yesterday they needed a new queen that'll slow them down enough to keep them from swarming because they don't have a queen this is the spencer county hive that's left uh sick bloke excluder lots of brood so we made some splits off of this on the first made two nukes on the first let's see what they got they still got plenty of room so we'll let them be we not, might not be banking any splits today they might not be strong enough to make any more splits i know i got one down there it is so you never know no matter how long you've been doing this you never know how strong you get an idea of how strong you think they'll be and they're usually either more or less than what you thought uh this is a split that was made on 320 uh, we'll check them for a queen on 420. More of our nukes. Oh. Seven frames top, seven frames bottom. On 4-1, I think that's when we added the deep. Get off me. And they still got plenty of room. So they haven't moved up in there yet, so they're good for the honey flow. We'll let them, we'll let this high um b and it should be good for making honey we're gonna make a note today's four six i got a set of markers i ended up with a black one in my um permanent marker has been wearing off too quick and i can't read it as good so we're using a uh, paint marking pen a queen marking pen what we normally use it for making our notes so these won't fade at all i don't think so we might have to sand our old notes off to make new ones Once I get a hive and it gets to a point that it's ready for honey, the manipulation time is gone. If they lose a queen, something happens, I'll never know it because I'm leaving them alone so they can make honey. And that's what this one's doing. They've got, they've got one, two, three, four, five frames and then four frames left to fill. So we'll mark that on the top. Let's see what this one looks like. If they've got room in it, then we might just leave them. And they do, they're about the same. So we're going to leave them the way they are and let them get this filled up before we add another one. Alright, so that one's good. Ready for the honey. This one, uh, we put a queen cell in, so I have to slow them down enough to be okay. This one, not much brood in top marked green queen. Let's see what they look like in the top. Ow, turd. <laughs> it hurt. I put my finger on that bee. This hive seems to be coming and going out the top. Wow, that was right in the quick of the finger. Yeah, I marked two green queens the other day. But they've already replaced their queen in this year. And this year is green. It's hard to see what they've got in here.
Test draw, but not much broods. I'm not sure what we got. All kind of eggs coming on. Eggs and larva. Glower. All right, this one got not much cat brood, but it's got good brood. All kind of larva. I don't know if you can see that. So it's good on this side. I'm filling this side out. I think we there's eggs in that if you can see it. Sun might be at the wrong angle. And then larva on this side. So she's going crazy in here. This one's cleaned out. This is where you have to make a judgment call. And they don't, if they had cat brood up here, I'd make a split, but they don't. But they're gonna be time, we get back, they're gonna be definitely ready for a super and ready for the flow. They might be too strong. There's all kind of eggs again. And those queens mark green. But they're still filling some out, foundation out. So I think I'm going to let them be. They're not strong enough I can make a split out of. So I'm going to let them be. Let them be. Let them be. Let them be. You would think we'd see the queen up here. She's green. I got a big old green dot on her. So I'd think I'd see her if she was up here. They've got brood in the top. Uh, but not enough to make a split. So they'll be overly strong walking line of they may swarm. Um, being a six, I'd like to see just this box full and, and not this one have an empty drawn comb up here. I'd just like to see more cat brood. I don't know. I might be messing up on this one. If I am messing up, they're gonna swarm. It's number 45. So we'll have to keep an eye on it and see if it swarms. They're gonna swarm and make a bunch of honey. If they swarm, they won't make any. I'm probably messing up, but I'm gonna put them back together. All right, one more chance for a split. Get off. Uh, well, no, put a queen cell in this one uh has couldn't find a white queen so we put a queen cell in here along with a white queen white is 2022 so she's a two-year-old queen so i have no idea how that'll work out um she's due to hatch out today so i definitely want, don't want to get in there today uh so we'll let them be and see how they go all right we can go on down doing good i don't know if you can see all them or not but they're really out this is my really good hive this is one i've been grafting off of it is number 28 and i made a split and then i shook some bees off and there's still a ton of bees up here probably too many but again we're gonna wait i think he's still got room it's really benefiting us a lot. We bought out a beekeeper down in Eastern Kentucky and we got the benefit of a lot of good drawn comb. So that's gonna speed us up a lot. Could make us swarm a lot. Uh, but all I had, I thought I had some drawn comb in there more, but uh, I've used it all. Uh, but that'll help speed us up a lot with making uh, a honey crop this year. This one's mostly empty, so we're going to leave it. It's good for the flow. Oh, crap. I didn't put no comb back in there. That ain't good. Dummy. That's what you never want to do. Crap. Well, at least our 
two frames are good. But we've got to get rid of a bunch of comb that we shouldn't have had to get rid of. Dang it. That's what we got. At least we caught it when we did. We'll come back later and pick that up and put it in the wax melter. It's good wax. No eggs in that, at least. Could have been a lot worse. I hate it when that happens. Just glad we didn't lose any more comb than we did. The, uh, I've got all this comb now, drawn comb. So I've got more than I actually need. So I'm picking and choosing to get the best of the best to put in these hives. Anything that's got a lot of drone brood in it or a lot of wonky comb or a really, really black comb is getting recycled or thrown away basically. But they'll be able to take this and build up pretty quick on it. Can't believe I did that. I hope that's the only one I did it to. Try not to ever put a lid back on one without frames because I'll forget every time to go back into it. There's my rig queen. Be a good one to make a split off of because I know where she's at. Okay, I'm going to leave her down there on that outer cover. I got all these nukes up here. I'm going to go ahead and make a split. And we'll move them to another yard. Take them to another yard so we won't have to uh, shake any bees in. We can just take what we get. Dropping pollen. Huh. Had some old pollen in it and that pollen's falling out. Alright, there's a little bit of cat brood, so that's good. All kind of eggs and larva, so that's good. All kind of bees for a good strong split. That's a food brain. So that's a good split right there. All right, we're closed. We got our split. We're closed up, so we're just gonna set them in the shade. All right, we're going to put our remaining frames of brood in the center. And we're going to put them on both sides of the queen. And make sure she gets in there safe since she knows, since we know where she's at. Hopefully she hadn't crowd off. 
and she's still right there. Set her right in the center. And then go ahead and push these two frames up around her so we know she's safe. And then we'll fill in with frames on the outside. That's an empty frame on there. So that's about where we want it. We might have should split that other one too. But we'll let it go. We, we'll be on both sides of that swarming line. They'll either, uh, that one will make more honey than this one, or that one will swarm and this one will make a lot of honey. So we're right there. And a little bit on both sides of it, so we'll see what happens. At least I didn't leave all the frames out of all of them. Because this top box is pretty full way fuller if i left them like this now this is kentucky we're about 20 miles south of louisville but if i left this box with all these bees in the top and it's full of bees in the bottom they're gonna swarm and if they swarm they won't make honey some people are out there saying they let their bees swarm and they still make honey I have never in 25 years seen that happen. This frame's got a lot of pollen and nectar. There's a lot of nectar in here. Whole lot of nectar. So we got two food frames. Got cat brood, pollen, honey, a little bit of everything on that one. Got uh, looking for eggs. I see eggs and small larvae, so there's stuff to make a queen out of. Looking really good for the queen, because I don't want to catch her. Got an okay brood pattern. It's kind of scattered. Queen cup. Plenty of stuff to make queen queens out of, and a good strong split. So we're gonna take that. I'm just looking at what's in the bottom. And what's in the top? We might go ahead and take another split off of this one. I'm gonna better look at that bottom. Yeah, that bottom's good. And there's a couple frames down in there that haven't filled out yet. But I think they're still good enough. We can take some more and still make honey. frame of cat brood. I always try to put your frames in the nuke the way they come out of the mother hive. Don't see a queen. Try to maintain that order that they had already as much as you can. I 
I'd love to see a queen because if I'm not careful, I'm going to catch her. There she is. Oh, and she's not marked. Where'd she go? I lost her. There she is. All right, I'm keeping my eye on her. I'm going to try to get my marker out. I'm debating. She's a small queen, and she's still kind of fuzzy. So I'm actually going to mark her with a green dot. Keep your eye on her. That's red. This is green. Looks good. Let's get off. So judging by her size and a little bit of fuzziness I see, I think she's this year's queen. So hopefully you can see this. I'm going to put a nice... on here for a squisher. All right, there she is. Leave her in the center. Now I know I've got two splits without the queen. Don't fly. Put these in the shade. Make sure my little door's closed. Frames get kind of moldy. The pollen and stuff in there, over time they'll get moldy. And the bees, I don't think it really bothers them, but I've got plenty of frames, so I don't have to use it, so I'm not. All right, get all my frames back in this one, push them to the middle. Got the queen there somewhere around that frame. And put my lid back on, and they are ready for honey. I think this one's probably going to split. I'm going to leave that other one down there because i got enough down here I can split and be okay if that one was to swarm. I'm going to figure on making this one split. It does give me room to put stuff back here. Which is kind of nice but I just can't get up all the way up to the back of the hive. So that'll be a food frame. If I'd have put foundation, when I took the two splits off here last time, if I'd have put foundation on here, I wouldn't have been able to make near as many splits. There's all kind of honey in that one. See how heavy. <laughs> I don't want to take all their food. Might leave that one. This has got pollen and nectar. We'll take that one. All right, they're plenty heavy, so they don't need this feeder in here. Taking the feeder out, it makes an easy place to access the frames because it's um, smaller at the bottom and is at the top, so it usually comes out pretty easy. I think I can make a split off here, but I ain't sure, so I'm gonna wait on this one. There's my pollen, all kind of nectar and some pollen.
all kind of eggs seeing all kind of drone I got a nice semi-circle got a high beetle walking around I don't see a bulldog bee so I don't see the queen on this one cat brood so yeah we'll be able to take some frames off of this one Get a few nukes out of here. That's, we got three already. All right, I think this one was a food frame. Yeah, it's got the eggs in the middle. Next one was a food frame. Need some pollen for food. Yeah, it's got pollen and nectar, so we'll take that one. This one's got eggs. Look again for the queen. No sign of the queen. This one had the cat brood. More cat brood. I think I'm going to put an empty frame with it. I might be able to get another four frames out of there. Bottom is completely full. Another nuke set to show you. Makes a big difference. I know I've already said it, but it makes a big difference with this uh, drone D A D R A W N comb. Um, it's been so long since I've had any. When you're building up, you don't have it. You only have drone comb. When you're already built up and you've got it put back, or if you're going down, you have it. I've got a lot of foundation and not, other than what I bought, not a lot of drone comb. So we'll let them be, it's got five frames, two frames of eggs. It should be about right to get the timing right to make a ton of honey. Removed. Three frames in the top, I think that's what it says. I got honey supers on here. I don't see a queen excluder. Be a good one to shake down. Let those eggs hatch out up here and then uh, let them fill it with honey since it's a honey super. Whew, a lot of brood. Slide this over a little bit. Try. Put them up on these locks the other day. To get them up off the ground a little bit for the skunks and all. I don't know, they got a lot of bees. This is a good one for a single hive if you was managing for a single hive uh, system instead of a double hive. That's the way you do it. You take the uh, brood in the top, check all the bees down below, uh, an excluder. And then when that brood hatches out in these honey supers, they'll fill it back up with honey. Hopefully they don't swarm. That's what we're going to attempt to do. Hopefully we can see the queen and we can stop all this shaking. Please, Lord, let me find the queen.
Look at that brood. Nice pattern. Got some pollen mixed in on that other side. There she is. Nice red queen. And I can place her in the bottom. And I don't have to shake no more. Thank you, Lord. I appreciate it. That made 9, 10, 11, 12 frames of shaking. And these might be too, uh, they might swarm, I don't know. I don't think they will, because I don't know. I'm crowding them in the bottom. I don't know. I'm just gonna hope for the best. Because this will work out really good. I get to brood on my honey supers, which I don't like. Oh. Another one bites the dust. And I'm, since they are crowded, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put another super on here since I got them handy. But she's blowing excluder now. And uh, they'll have room to move up. there's room for them to get in up there all right now they'll have room to move up they got uh, uh, another super on top of them i'm gonna go ahead and put two supers on there give them extra room got my squeaky shoes on today for kevin all right now they got two supers so i got plenty of room so hopefully they'll use that room and not swarm on me we shall see all right i think i'm good all right, looks like, except for that one hive, I left the dang frames out of. Everything else is in pretty good shape. And I'm completely comfortable with leaving them and then being okay for a week. All right, I think it does it. Uh, we got everything checked. We got them to where within limits of where I feel like they need to be. And it, it just comes from, it's hard to say and you try to tell her to be keepers and you could make a mistake and you could be a little early or a little late, but you try to walk that line between um, strong enough to make honey, uh, but weak enough that they won't swarm. And it's a very fine line. So I got some on the, what I think is the lower side of the line. I got some on the upper side of the line. So uh, I think we're in uh, good shape, as good as we can be. I feel good with where they're at. They got drawn combs, so they're going crazy. Um, and I uh, got plenty of room, so uh, I think we're good to go. Hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, leave a, a like, hit the like button, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.